What's up YouTube? I got two boxes in from Live Aquaria. I almost forgot what I ordered, but it just came to me right now. I ordered two Gobies, um, two different types. I forgot which types. It was like a white with red stripe and a white with a dotted stripe. But we'll get the packing list in. We'll um, confirm what I got. But I think um, two of these fishes belong to Johnson because um, we did a group buy to save on shipping again. So that's always great. Live Aquaria. This one is Johnson's. He ordered a pig. A pygmy possum wrasse. It's pretty expensive. It was like a hundred and something dollars. We had a coupon. There it is. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see him. Pretty nice and red. But we'll leave that for him to pick up later today. Cooling pack is still in here. So I guess this big box is mine. <laughs> he also ordered another RAS. He did two orders, but. One order was delayed. I ordered some goldfish and um, I think I have a video on that. That should be coming sometime later. But it was so bad. I ordered um, 10 orandas and they put them all in one bag so that was bad news. Um, had three die on me and the others they're like all kind of dazed and they have um, burns on their fin from the ammonia in the bag. I hate, I hate that but Live Aquaria um, refunded me but we'll see how the other seven do. So I got I think see this gold bee right here he's striped I got the gobies because um, I put sand in my aquariums and these guys would help me sift the sand. I got another wrasse, a uh, six-stein wrasse. This guy's more colorful than the one I got in the lagoon. And this one should be another goby. You see this goby right here. He has polka dots. Price wasn't too bad. They're like 17, 14 bucks. And then we got a uh, 20% off coupon. So it's not too bad. And then this big bag, I think it's Johnson's also. He got a, if you guys can see that. A Katuri Ras. This guy's pretty expensive too. Oh man, he's pretty nice. Um, turquoise coloring. <laughs> yeah, I'll stick with my cheap stuff. Uh, I'll get these guys in. My lagoon. All of a sudden, um, two of my clowns started showing ick. So I have them in quarantine. Uh, for these three fishes, I don't want to put them or get them near my lagoon at all. Uh, I'm gonna put them all into my 20 gallon Fiji build. So I'm gonna cut out. So I got the three bags in to the Fiji Q build, but apologies. <laughs> I just refer to the gobies as a stripe and a polka dot one, but there are names and the names are on the bag. So let's, let's 
let's get the the names for you guys. So the one with the stripe, his name is a Watchman Wheeler Scobie. I'll leave links down in the description. Um, this RAS right here, he's a six line RAS. I got him because um, people recommend the six line RAS to eat like worms and stuff off of the the frags. And I had some weird white worms showing up so I got him for my Fiji cube. No, not Fiji cube, the lagoon. And ever since then, I haven't seen any little critters or anything like that. And he's like a really hard worker, always on the lookout. So this orange dotted goby, he looks really nice too. His name is Orange Spotted Goby. But there's the scientific name. I'm not even going to attempt, but it says it's from Eastern Asia. Let's see where the other goby came from. Eastern Asia as well and the six line rest is from Fiji so I'm gonna let them acclimate for a bit and then I'll do some dripping or just plop and drop <laughs> I just released them in and I could spot one of the gobies right there um, the ras he's swimming around I don't know where the third guy is. He's somewhere in here. Under the sand. I have two accounted for. Let me see. The polka dot goby is not shy at all. The striped one, he's pretty shy. So if he looks, if he sees you looking at him, He'll dart and hide right away. I'm like two feet away from the tank right now. There he is. I like how they have different variations and patterning. And these guys were not that expensive, so it didn't hurt the wallet that much. I originally wanted to put one in this tank and one in the other tank, but then the other tank. I'm not sure what's going on with it, so to be safe, I put them both in this tank. They're just kind of exploring. He's kind of doing a whole perimeter around the tank right now. It's pretty cool. I still need to make a lid for this tank, but I'm liking everything so far. Oh yeah, I have a sea urchin in here. He was in my lagoon, but when I placed him in there, uh, no one told me that he's a bulldozer, so at night he would go through my frag um, rack and knock down everything and um, just jack up my whole rack. And he, I would find him with plugs stuck to him. And you poke them, everything. So I had them in a little container for the longest. And finally, um, with this Fiji cube set up, he could roam free in here because I won't have a frag rack. All of my corals would be mounted to this piece right here. So everyone's getting used to their tank. I'll do future updates on them and how they're doing. So stay tuned for more videos. Thank you guys for following along. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'll catch you guys on later. Bye.